Two years after France passed their so-called anti-Burqa law, the nation's Muslim community is rallying around a woman who was beaten by fascists so severely that she suffered a miscarriage. Her attackers tried to pull off her head covering, but it was only a commonplace hijab and not a banned burqa or niqab. It follows another incident in the same Parisian suburb where French police resorted to using tear gas after a group of sympathizers tried to stop a burqa-wearing woman from getting arrested. I'm French. I'm a Muslim. I have the right to my dignity. I really hope they catch the attackers so this never happens to anyone else. We must stop Islamophobia. I can't understand why my hijab is a reason for aggression. Some Muslims at her press conference sharply criticized the French media for using unsubstantiated anonymous sources which cast doubt on the victim's story. They also asked why the victim herself had yet to be interviewed by any French press. Press TV, however, interviewed the victim shortly after the attack. They also asked why the French coverage was skewed towards the sensational aspects of the crime instead of relating them to the larger issues of repeated attacks and why they continue to take place. The government has some complicity in the fact that French society still confuses the burqa with a simple hijab like mine. Many Muslims wonder if the government secretly wants this confusion to continue. French politicians have condemned the incident, but many say it's just empty talk. One Muslim activist covered a baby doll with blood to dramatically illustrate the real-life consequences of the French state's repeated failure to protect Muslim women from ethnic violence. The Interior Ministry must protect everyone from insecurity regardless of any distinctions such as gender, color or religion. There's little doubt that fascist groups are rising in popularity. The far-right National Front recently topped the socialists in a first-round by-election to replace a disgraced socialist cabinet member. Besides widespread perceptions of corruption, voters said that at least the extreme right is providing an alternative program to the poverty-inducing economic austerity of the two mainstream parties. Many demonstrators say that it's difficult to imagine that France's politicians couldn't foresee that the anti burqa law could empower some right-wing sympathizers to become violent vigilantes. Many French Muslims insist that in order to prevent more violence against women, the government take the radical step of repealing the anti burqa law. Ramin Mazahiri, Press TV, Paris.